Hey guys, so it's been a while, I know, but today's video is going to be a Yellow Belly Slider Turtle Care video, and um, I'm going to be telling all about the care requirements and feeding and everything you need to know about Yellow Belly Sliders. So um, thank you guys for watching. I apologize for the wait for this video. I've been meaning to do this video for ever, and I just have never gotten around to it, but I'm doing it now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. First, I'm gonna start off by talking about housing. So for yellow belly sliders and all aquatic turtles, a general rule that a lot of people like to go by is having 10 gallons per every inch of their shell. So shelving right now is around three to four inches and I currently have him in a 40 gallon, but sometime down the road he will need to be upgraded. Now I'm going to talk about what you need for your tank. So the essentials that you need for a yellow belly cider tank is going to be filtration, um, a heater, and a thermometer that can measure both the water temperature and the temperature of the basking dock. And then you're going to need a basking dock, which is a place where they can get out of the water completely. And you're going to need a heat bulb and UVB. So as far as filtration goes, the more the better. Yellow belly sliders are huge mess makers, they are super messy, and the more filtration you have, the better. So for my 40 gallon, I have two filters. I have um, a 10 gallon filter, and then I have a filter that's for around 50 to 60 gallons. So the better filtration you have, the cleaner your tank will be, and the easier it will be on water changes. For heaters, yellow belly sliders need a water temperature of 74 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So I would highly recommend getting an adjustable heater. Any heater that fits your tank size will do, but um, the adjustable heaters are great because you can adjust them just to the perfect temperature that you need. I usually keep Sheldon's anywhere between 75 and 77. So anywhere around there is fine. Now for basking. So for yellow belly sliders basking dock, they're just going to need some area where they can get out of the water completely, which that is crucial. They need to be able to get fully out of the water and they need to be able to move around on their basking dock. So um, my personal favorites are the floating reptile docks that move up and down with the water level so they don't, it doesn't mess with the water level at all. And um, for your basking dock temperatures, they need around 85 to 93 degrees on um, under the heat bulb and then they're also going to need a UVB bulb. For above your basking dock you're going to need a heat and a UVB bulb and both of these are essential to the care of your yellow belly sliders even if you just have a heat bulb, they need a UVB bulb too. They need the two separate bulbs and those are both essential to their care. For me, for the heat bulb, I use the Aquaculture 75 watt um, daytime bulb and I get mine at Walmart for like $5. And then for his UVB bulb, I use the Reptisun 5.0, which you can find at Petco, but I usually order mine on Amazon because they're a lot cheaper. For the inside of your tank, they do not require any certain type of substrate or decor or anything, um, but if you do choose to add substrate to your tank like I do, 
Um, you can get, um, I know they have like bags of a turtle substrate, which is like bigger rocks that you can put in your turtle's tank. Or like a lot of people ask me where I got my substrate for Sheldon's tank and I went to a rock beach a few years ago and I gathered a bunch of different rocks and obviously I cleaned them and everything. But that's what I use for my substrate. But the one thing that you cannot put in your turtle's tank is aquarium gravel because the aquarium gravel is too small and your turtles will eat it and you don't want that. Like I said before, they don't need any other type of decorations in their tank, but I like to give Sheldon um, some different types of plants and I also have this um, little bridge that he likes and I like to give him lots of plastic plants because it gives him something to swim through and to rest on. But other than that, they do not require anything else in their tank. Another question that I get asked a lot is how do you keep your tank so clean? Um, every week I do a small water change, which really helps keep my tank looking really clean. And I'll clean off any decor that has got algae on it. So every week I'll do around a 20% water change and I'll take out around five or six gallons of water and replace it. And then every, I would say, month or so, I'll do like a 50% water change and take out half the water. And then um, every, I would say, three or four months, I completely clean the tank and I'll take everything out and empty all the water out and I'll completely clean it. So they, like I said before, yellow belly ciders are super messy. So having a clean tank, um, it really helps to do water changes every week. They should be done every week, so doing that really helps keep the tank clean. Also, to help keep your tank clean every month, you should um, replace the filter cartridges just like you would in a fish tank. So for all the filters you have, they should be changed every month. Your turtle is also going to need some type of water conditioner. There are a few different types of water conditioner out there, but um, you're just, really any type will do, you're just going to need something that can make the tap water safe for your turtles. So for me, I use the Tetrafauna AquaSafe um, Aquatic Reptile Water Conditioner, and this works really well, and it's relatively cheap. Um, you can get this at Walmart for a few bucks, and it lasts a while. So make sure that you have something in your water for keeping the tap water safe. The last thing I'm going to be talking about is their diet. Um, yellow belly sliders need a very specific and varied diet. It is a very essential part of their care. Um, a lot of people overlook it and they'll just feed them like all commercial pellets, but they need a lot of variation in their diet. I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys what I feed Sheldon and how often I feed it to him. So the first thing are these Reptomin floating food sticks by Tetra. And these are his staple food, which means the main food that I feed him. Um, these are great. Sheldon really likes these. Um, and this is the main pellet that I feed him. There's um, calcium, vitamin C, and all kinds of good stuff for them in here. And these I'll give him anywhere from two to three times a week. Um, Cause this is the main food I feed him. And then I also have a couple other different types of pellets. Like I have these Wardley reptile sticks um, that are another type of turtle pellet. And these I will give him probably around every week or so. He will get um, this type of pellet. The next dry food that I feed children is these Wardley dried shrimps. And um, these have a lot of protein and stuff for them. I'll give him some of these around every other week or every week or so. It depends on what I feed him that week. Another dried food that I have for him is this Zoomed Gourmet Aquatic Turtle Food. And I ordered this big huge thing off of Amazon and it was only like $7 or something. And this stuff is great. It has um, dried river shrimp, dried mealworms, and it has pellets and dried cranberries and I will give him the pellets from this um, about every week. Um, I'll give him the pellets from inside of this and then every few weeks I'll give him a dried cranberry which he really likes and then 
around every week or so, I'll give him some of these river shrimp or um, mealworms. Also, I have this container of aquaculture dried mealworms, which these are a treat. You don't want to give them these too often. I'll probably give him some of these every month or so, just as a little treat for him. Um, these should not be something you feed them regularly, like I said, just as a treat, which he really enjoys these. And then another thing that um, is really good for a treat, which I give him every month or so, are these Wardley, um, these Wardley turtle treats, I think is what they're called. And I didn't have many left, so I have them in this little container. But they're little um, floating food treats, and these I'll also give him um, once every month or so. The last dried food item that I give Sheldon is this Zumed turtle bone. Now this is the same thing as cuddle bone for birds, but they sell this at Petco for specifically for turtles. And I'll give him some of this um, every once in a while, every few weeks or so. This isn't really like a food you'll feed them for the day. This is just kind of something you'll give them um, every once in a while. That is all of the different kinds of dry food that I have for Sheldon, but another very important part of their diet is lettuce. Um, I will feed Sheldon lettuce. Um, I give him red romaine lettuce, which is really good for him, and he loves the stuff. He eats it like crazy. And um, I'll give him that about twice a week. So um, it really depends on what I'm feeding him that day or that week. Um, I don't have a specific schedule for him. It just kind of varies and depends on what he gets every every day, but I will give him lettuce about two times a week. Another thing you can give them as a treat every, I would say, month or two. This is not something that they can be fed regularly. This is just um, a once in a while treat is fruits, like um, some of Sheldon's favorites are strawberries and um, blueberries, and all you have to do is cut off the skin and everything and just give them the inside, and that's just a once in a while treat that um, you can give them occasionally as well. So for all of this food, every day the amount that you want to give them is about the size of their head. So um, that's a really good way to measure how much food they're getting. Um, so every day, the amount of food they should get should be around the size of their head. Um, a really big problem with a lot of people that have turtles is overfeeding because yellow belly sliders and most types of aquatic turtles, they will go crazy for food and they will always act like they are hungry. Even if they are not hungry, they will keep eating and they will just keep eating and eating and eating. So even if your yellow belly slider or your aquatic turtle seems like they're really hungry, don't keep feeding them because that leads to overfeeding, which can lead to pyramiding and that is not good. So, um, like I said, they will always seem like they are hungry and you probably will think that you're underfeeding them, but as long as you're giving them about the size of their head every day, they will be fine. Another thing I forgot to mention is you can handle your yellow belly sliders, like if you need to move them from their tank to a separate tank for cleaning or something like that, you can handle them, but um, they're not like a pet that you should be handling often or a pet that you should have out a lot. Occasionally, I will um, let Sheldon walk around my room because he really enjoys doing that, like for maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes or something because he really enjoys walking around my room. But other than that, you should not be handling them any more than what you need to or occasionally. When I was editing the video, I realized that I forgot to talk about live feeding. Yellow belly sliders can actually eat live worms and bugs and stuff. Personally, I have given Sheldon both crickets and superworms. For those of you who don't know, I have bearded dragons and they require live food. And whenever I get a few small ones out of crickets or superworms, whenever I buy them, I give them to Sheldon. They give them a lot of protein and variation and stuff to their diet that is really good for them. And Sheldon seems to really enjoy them. So if you can, I would definitely recommend feeding um, a few types of live food every once in a while. Alright, so I think I covered everything, but if you guys have any other questions, feel free to um, comment down below 
and I would be happy to answer. Um, in the description, I will be leaving the names of all of the products that I have in my tank and that I talked about. So if you guys want to go check those out, um, feel free to do that. So, um, like I said, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and again, I apologize for how long it took for this video to get up, but I really enjoyed um, recording this, so I hope to have some more videos out for you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.